Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Trucker's Life. This is Jorge Navarro. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, welcome back guys. And uh, yeah, I made it home. Made it home safe and sound. Hot chocolate made it home. But right now, we're getting into this, trying to get this taken off and uh, see if we can repair it ourselves without having to pay somebody money to do it. But um, the only problem is that if I have to take this flange off, uh, I mean, if it doesn't want to come off, um, I'm gonna have to take the wheel off. I don't have anything to do that with, so then I'm gonna have to take it somewhere else. But uh, as of now, it seems like I'm gonna be able to just take it off like that. So I'm gonna start off taking off these covers, and they're just hand tightened, so it's not a, uh, it's not hard to take these off. And the, uh, what? And uh, this thing right here just popped off with that flathead, so. Just in case you guys want to try this. Oh, that sucker's on there. Let me, let me set y'all down real quick. See if none of this is going to fall out. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Make a mess there. Prop that up a little bit more. Yeah, y'all a little crooked, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Let's see. There we go. All right. Let's finish taking these off. I know a lot of you guys have already done this. A lot of you guys have done it before. Those of you that haven't, we're learning together. Together. Togetherness. <laughs> a lot of you guys kind of told me what I needed to do. I called the 806 driver and he also told me it was pretty simple to do so. I'm going to give it a shot. That's all I can say. These things come off real easy. There's just a whole bunch of them. Yeah, the weather got kind of nasty out here, guys, a little bit. Earlier, it was raining pretty good. I'm glad it's not raining anymore, because then I wouldn't be able to be doing this at all. Because, uh, yeah, big boy ain't trying to be out here getting wet. On top of what already is going on with the health out here. Don't want to add to it. One more, guys, one more. And I already, I already broke these loose, so... I think though, what I need to do is I need to get something to put under here to catch the oil. Because I mean, I don't want to make a mess here. They let us park here, they don't mess with us about it. And I don't want to make a mess here at their, on their property. So I'm gonna see if I can find something real quick. There we go, see, that was that. Very easy, move this out of the way. So uh, let me grab something real quick to uh, catch that oil. You know what, I have this uh, this hard hat right here. I think that'll work? That should work. It's, it's not any good, it's cracked right here, so it's not uh, it's not like we're losing anything that's, that's good. Let's see if I can pop these things out. I know it'd be good for something one day. I always keep a lot of junk. But sometimes the junk is useful, guys. Sometimes. Not all the time. All right. Oh, one more, one more. There we go. Hey, I think that's gonna work right there. All right. So, I already, like I said, broken, broken some of it loose. There it goes, very easy. Uh, let me see if I can get a socket that'll fit that, make it a little easier. Now I'm gonna 
to tighten it up, I can tighten it with that, put a little more power into it. I got a whole bunch of miscellaneous tools to tell you. What size was this? This one. That was a 516. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Found it. All right. So, then we can also use this to tighten it down. Good bar there. These are, uh, yeah, half the things that I borrowed from my dad and I never gave it back. <laughs> I know that's sad. Oops, wrong way. I want to be, be banging the rim. All right, I'm gonna take these off and then uh, get back to y'all once I get that once I get that taken care of. All right, last one. I noticed one of them didn't have a washer on it. Huh. Oh. I guess I need to take that off. Actually, I'm gonna put these somewhere else because put them right there so I can see if I can break the seal off this thing. That all. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen that easy <laughs> oh man okay there you go and uh, so it looks like in there we'll put our gloves back on real quick so figure out what needs to be done and that we had our oil thing there all right, so we just pulled it out a little bit. We don't even have to really take the shaft off uh, Get rid of these things What's left here? I need to preserve some of this because I have to take it to where I'm gonna get the other one Because I didn't know exactly what size it was Me not being a mechanic. I didn't know that there was many different sizes. Well, of course it kind of makes sense, right? But I didn't know Ooh, there's not much of it to preserve. I see how it's all tore up though. And it kind of makes you think about the rest of them. That might be enough evidence there to take. There is some down here though that, yeah, like all this needs to come off because If not, go buy some brake cleaner and uh, go buy some brake cleaner and something to clean this up with a little bit. That way it'll seat right. There we go. All right, so yeah, we'll get something, a little wire brush or something, clean this up a little bit, and then uh, we'll get the new seal, put it on, tighten her back up, and should be good to go. She's leaking a lot of oil though. Uh, put her back in. All right, let me set y'all down real quick. Uh, let's see. Try to put her back in so it won't be a. 
Just here sticking out. Uh oh. I think I pulled her out too far and it's not going in. Uh oh, that's going to be a problem. That's a problem. Let's get these tools back in here. Well, guys, I think I pulled it out too far. Yeah, I don't know. Did it now and then pulled it all out. Uh, where there's what that looks like. <laughs> Alright. See if I can get a get a see if I get a razor blade or something to scrape that off with. But she's still leaking the oil in here, so I gotta leave that there. Hopefully nobody comes and messes with it. No, should I put a rag there so it'll stop the oil a little bit? Let me get that. Stuff a couple rags right here. Just trying not to make a mess here. I don't think that's gonna help, so I'm just gonna let it, let it continue dripping. Hopefully, it doesn't fall off. Might get a bungee or something to put it here to hold it until I get back. And hopefully, it doesn't drip on the concrete. That's mainly what I do not want to happen. But, uh, about this thing. Uh, let me try to put it back in there again. Like some very fine, fine little threads on it. I don't think I was supposed to go this far with it. Not good. Not good guys, <laughs> no, no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there like that. I think that's gonna hold it up right here. So we're good. I'm gonna go get the other stuff I need. Get this gasket, see if we can get it. Some type of way we'll get it back on there. We'll figure it out. The only place that was open that could have had it is like 30 miles from here. So I'm going to run down there, run up there and get it. Try to get all this out of the oil there. Get some extra oil. I'm going to have to get 
some extra oil for sure. Okay, so leave that there. Hopefully somebody doesn't decide that they need it more than I do. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Well guys, we made it back, finally. Um, I had to go, like I said, 30 miles. Was it 20 miles to go get it, to go get the gasket. The gasket was only, I bought an extra. So the gasket was only uh, $3. Uh, actually like three and some change. So I bought two, I bought some brake cleaner and I bought some, um, some, uh, uh, some, some gear oil to put back in it. So after I'm done here, I pretty much got it all assembled again. So I'll put it back together. Um, just, uh, need to tighten these up. I don't have a torque wrench and I don't know what the torque is. So I'm going to try to just, uh, tighten it the best I can. And, um, it was finicky putting once uh, taking this when I took this out it was kind of finicky to get it to get it back in there and uh, finally it popped in place I was like man I don't know if I'm ever gonna get this back in there or not but it popped back in place our gaskets where it's supposed to be I cleaned everything up in on on the, the hub side and on the flange side so everything should be good to go I just need to tighten these up uh, put a little power a little bit of weight you know we could put a little bit of weight behind it of course we can <laughs> put a little bit of weight on it and uh, finish it up so let me get that done and then I'll uh, get back to y'all here in just a second now the only thing is that one of these didn't have an o-ring I mean the o-ring a um, uh, a washer oh, got it all messed up and I don't have an extra washer so I'm just gonna have to put it on like that and then later maybe I'll uh, get one and put it back on there but one of them didn't come with a washer from the get-go that might be why it started leaking I don't know huh okay well let's get it all back together tighten her up and uh should be ready to go after that oh and as always i always forget to put gloves on i know i should especially right now but i forget so i'm just gonna just go cross cross and then uh try to t tighten it down after that so to try to get it even try to get it nice and even around just a little barely get it snug there now guys, I might not know what I'm doing. I hope I don't regret this later on going down the road. But uh giving it the best I can. I mean I, I get I can get I can get a lot of stuff done myself. I just uh sometimes don't have the time. I might just bang my rim again. So let's snug that up a little bit. Go to the next. Wish I had a an impact like an electric impact that would be cool but uh, I went to look for them they're like almost 300 bucks for well like 250 something for Harbor Freight so eh, I don't really like spending that much money on Harbor Freight you already know about them tools all right snug we'll cross over here Snug that baby up. Give it a quick little turn. It's the one without a without a washer. We should have one. I don't know why it doesn't. And I totally forgot to get one at the parts store in Huntsville. Huntsville, Texas. They have a Napa there that, that does a heavy it uh, has some heavy uh, truck parts. So, all right, so let's start over. Keep a little bit harder. Tighten her up a little better. That way, this way. So you can get nice and even. It wasn't very, um, very tight from the get-go, because when I, Took them off. I just barely, just barely put some, put some force to it, and they, uh, they came right off. I'll do that the other way.
does feel good to do your own wrenching though. Well, at least you can only blame yourself whenever something goes wrong, right? <laughs> I think we got it right about where she needs to be. Not getting much. A little bit there. A little bit there. Nothing there. Nothing there. A little bit on that one. All right. So now we'll put a little bit of weight. All right, not, not a whole lot. Definitely don't want to strip any of these things. Here in the big boy puff. All right. All right, I think we got her. I think we got her whoop, guys. We got her done. No, let's say at least a hundred bucks. I would, I would imagine. I don't know. I figure it saved at least a hundred bucks though. Clean her up a little bit. Let's cut off of here. Get a good wash. But as y'all see, it's raining, so there's no washing going on right now. Get all this crud out of here. And Mr. DLT won't have a reason. I had some in between here too. And then back here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go underneath here. Take this little cap off here and uh, go ahead and top her off and she should be good to go. I think that's where you go with it. <laughs> Stop me guys if I'm doing it wrong. Well, yeah, this will be a little late for that. But yeah guys, what do y'all think? Very simple, not a lot of work to it appreciate you guys appreciate my family y'all always come through for sure do you fill it up here or do you feel it I'm gonna have to look that one up stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned I'm gonna look that one up because this is uh mechanics for dummies right here <laughs> at least this dummy <laughs> get all this card out of here yeah, let me uh let me do a little bit of research on my phone real quick and then we will um, add the oil but it might be right there though okay cool so let's do that what's going on chris how you doing oh man, oh, man. sorry to bug you you're on uh yeah <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was uh, doing the middle of my vlog here trying to, you know, mechanics for dummies try to change this uh, flange um, seal. That seal? Yeah. yeah, okay, but uh, I got it all put back together. Uh -huh. And uh, you're, you're on, matter of fact, you're, uh, you're, you're going to be on, uh, on, on my channel, so we're calling okay. you. On you live here, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's cool. that's cool. but uh, anyways, um, to fill the oil, is it do I fill it underneath the uh, on the, on the back of the rear end? Uh huh, there'll be, a, there'll be a plug that plug, okay. Yeah, you see that plug right there? And yeah, you to fill it up, just fill it up to, to where uh, the fluid just starts coming out. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Pretty much, and, and really, to be honest with you, you can put your finger in there. Uh huh. And it, that first bend is in your index finger, you yeah. can bend down and you can touch oil, you're good. 
Yeah. Okay, okay. So, I don't have a. Nah. Uh -uh. I didn't. Uh, I didn't have a torque wrench, man. I just kind of tightened it pretty decent. No, I'm doing. Did it with a. Yeah, yeah with a. Uh, with a. Um, ratchet. Yeah, with a ratchet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's a little long. It's a little longer ratchet, so I put a little bit of. Yeah, put a little bit of put a little bit about of these 300 pounds on there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bought it already. I, I called up there to the Peterbilt, but I don't remember what it. What it I is exactly? I bought two of them, <laughs> just in case. I kicked that stuff out five gallon drums, five gallon buckets. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, shoot, I'm should be good, man. Well, I'm gonna let you go, man, so you can get back to your thing. I really appreciate it, man. Y'all go subscribe to to 806 Driver for sure, man. He's a great guy. Um, when it comes to mechanic stuff, I give him a holler because he this is his thing. Well, he, 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 he's a, he's a, what do you call yourself? A jack of all trades and <laughs> there you go, guys. Friendships. You got to keep friendships out here because there's always, you know, somebody that can help you out and, and uh, keep positive with, with the people that you hang around with. And it's just, it's amazing. So I appreciate you, Chris. Appreciate yeah, you for that. Um, Anything you ever need, which I don't know anything that you would need from me, but if you ever need anything, <laughs> let me know. I'm, oh, I'm here for you. <laughs> like I said, master none. I'm all, I always got questions too. So. <laughs> so, I appreciate it, bro. All right, brother. You take care of yourself. Yeah, God you bless too. you guys. You too. All right. Bless, all right, man. Bye. Bye. Well, there you go, guys. There's our answer. We got to go underneath the bottom, which I, that's kind of what I thought, but hey, I better uh, consult with a Consult with a uh, uh, with an expert, and uh, he says just to fill it up. And, and a lot of you guys already know. All you older school drivers that've been out here a long time um, have already done this before. I've never really worked much on Freightliners, which this is gonna—I mean, on Peterbilts, mostly on Freightliners. But this is gonna be a part that's on. It's uh, they're all the same basically when it comes to rear ends and transmissions they're most of the time They're all the same. So it's just something I've never dealt with So I better consult with somebody that knows about it before I mess something up because I do have a load set up for me And uh, I'm gonna go to Arizona So I don't want to break down in the middle of out there Which there's nothing out there and then y'all know what's, what's what's going on. It's gonna make it that much harder to get help. So Cool, we got this uh, pretty much buttoned up and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the oil in there. Just take that little cap off. For those of you that don't know, this little cap right here, unscrew it, pour a little bit of oil in there, and we should be good to go. And it seems like the rain is coming down a little further, so a little more. So uh, let's get, get down in there, get that done, and uh, get out of this weather so uh, we won't get sick of other things. All right, we got her broke loose. Let's see where I can put this oil so I won't spill it. Here. So we got a broke loose guys, 3 8 3 8 is what I'm using. So it's, that's done there. Let's get our hand up in here. Up in here, up in here. All right. Yeah, I didn't lose much. There's still still a lot in there. Still good, but nonetheless, it's best to top it off. Let's see, you top it off real quick, and then uh, put it back on. If I can even get it in there. <laughs> Don't even make fun of that. I'm gonna get it in there one way or another. <laughs> I know some of y'all got some dirty minds. Oh. Uh oh. There's actually oil coming out of it already. So, let's see if we can look in there. 
60 yeah there's actually oil coming out already so it's probably a overfilled anyways i don't even know how to get it get that let's see let me move y'all set y'all up right here real quick because y'all can't help me y'all ain't trying to help me man that's messed up yeah <laughs> that ain't gonna happen and then that ain't gonna happen let's see if i can do that here we go all right there we go there we go we got it we got it put too much but that's fine oh i just tied her back up oh y'all had a better angle than i do i can't even see i gotta make sure i pick up this this oil that i spilled right here like i said i if i had a place man it would it's ideal to do it at home right but i don't i don't have a well i have a place to live of course but it's all uh hoa and all that other cool stuff all right so let's go ahead and tighten her back up snug her back up and we'll be good to go and it's coming down guys it's starting raining more now work for dummies 101 right here and I'm the number one. <laughs> oh man. <coughs> Woo! We got it boys. We got it. We got it. Done. Done. We did it. Alright guys, I'm gonna get y'all out of the water because I don't want you guys to get sick. Guys, thank you for uh for being here with me one more time guys don't forget to like share subscribe hit that hit hit that thumbs up guys if you guys like the content uh mechanics for dummies we got it done with the good help of our friend 806 driver chris go check out his channel cool dude great dude and uh, he's always going to be there to help you help you guys out he's got a lot of good tips on mechanic work and um, just a bunch of other stuff so check out his channel chris i really appreciate you 806 driver and uh we're done guys stay safe stay clean keep your hands sanitized and uh we'll see you guys on the next video peace and i'm out of here guys